Thanks very much. It's fantastic to be here to such a large crowd, a crowd that provide essential services for Australians around the country. So, yeah, so you should applaud yourselves for that, but, you know, it's very important today. I actually, when I was asked by Nadine to come here and speak to you about some of the issues here, the callous disregard of this government with respect to dealing with its own workforce decently and with fairness, I didn't think I'd be talking about Turnbull. <laughs> but I guess we've got an opportunity. This is an opportunity. But first I want to say, your effort to date is part of the reason why Tony Abbott's no longer Prime Minister. Cuts to health, cuts to education, massive slashing of public sector jobs, an absolute, as I said earlier, callous disregard, whether you're a worker in the car industry, whether you're a shipbuilder, whether you want to build submarines in this nation, whether you want to just do your job and clean the Prime Minister's office, of course, you are treated with, by this government with contempt. And I promise you this, if I could summon the narrative and summon the, the courage of Lucia, who just spoke then, what a remarkably courageous woman to get up in front of a large crowd, in front of media, and talk about what is an absolutely disgraceful act by the former Prime Minister and the Minister for Employment, who in Parliament only last year unequivocally said they would not cut cleaners' wages and now have cut them by up to five to six thousand dollars a year, lowest pay workers. And of course, as you know, the, the actual, the actual, the, the so-called negotiations that are going on, which are effectively asking you to accept the unacceptable, is, an, a, ter is a terrible, a terrible indictment by this government. But let me say, and I think the dean said it best. Today, it's an unusual day. It's an unusual day in some respects. But you know what? It provides an opportunity. If Malcolm Turnbull isn't signed up to work choices or the approach to treating working people with contempt, if Malcolm Turnbull wants to show that he's a fair and decent Prime Minister um, when he's sworn in, I think he'll be sworn in soon. Uh, we haven't seen uh, Tony Abbott today, but um, we're waiting on that. But uh, we'll be asking questions of, you can be assured of this, of the new Prime Minister in the question time over the course of this week and beyond. But if he has an opportunity to sign up to decent bargaining arrangements with the public sector. Because in the end, if you want to know a way and you want to define or you want to know what governments think of workers across the nation, then you, all you have to do is that look at the way they treat its own workforce, the way in which the government treats its own workforce. Now, to date, you'd have to say that's been very, very shabby indeed. Well, here's an opportunity, and you coming out today in full strength and representing thousands upon thousands of public sector workers are sending the right message that Malcolm Turnbull will hear loud and clear, get real, treat workers with respect, sit down and bargain for decent outcomes, decent wage, wages and conditions, and treat people with the respect they deserve. Thanks very much.